hello guys welcome back to the channel today we we'll bring you this video of famous nigerian criminal who terrorized the whole of southeast deriko Mama. stay tuned as we give you all the details about the notorious thief who held the whole of Igbo land to a standstill including how he was killed by the bakasi boys meanwhile as you watch the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on post notification like share and drop your comments in the comment section Come on, this is serves the best menu and whatever a man sows in life that he shall reap some so many people indulge in evil acts and perpetuate all kinds of crime with the belief that they can't be touched because they have a connection they tend to forget that nobody rules forever and that many days are for the thief and one day is for the owner. In my video, I will be taking you down memory lane as I share a story of notorious criminal Oko Dili Idingwe, aka Deriko Wamama, whose hands left his shoulders at 22. Deriko was dreaded in Onisha and the southeastern region at Lad. Deriko at 22 emerged as the king of the underworld in southeast Nigeria and he followed the footsteps of Lawrence Anini and Ishola Oyenusi. Deriko Mama started his dirty dealing by picking money and trousers from the people's pockets in Onisha. Onisha is a place where people are cautioned to be very vigilant. Upper Iweke Road, Onisha to be precise. Some people said Upper Iweke Road, Onisha, isn't for the weak. Deriko and his team were considered by many as a gang of blood and losses. Deriko and his team gave the people of Onisha sleepless nights, and he was the exact definition of terror. Many people believe that he is so powerful that he can't be arrested by the police. Deriko placed so much trust in the charms he got from native and witch doctors. He spared no one whom he came in contact with. He is well known for his level of expertise in robbing bosses. He doesn't think twice before wasting his victims. He wasted so many lives merc mercilessly. He operates like a man who doesn't believe in the word mercy. The fear of the Rikuma Mama made the people of Anambra State call on their governor for help. The governor had no option than to invite the Bakasi boys who also operate with mystic powers. Despite claims by Derek Owa Mama that he is untouchable and is invincible, he was apprehended on his way from Delta State to Anambra. Derek in his confession after he was captured, claimed responsibility for Che Jenner's death. His courage and pride rose after he killed Che Jenner, who was then the kingpin. Derek also boasted that he had powerful politicians that would set him free. The Bible made it clear that the wages of sins are death. Deriko Uma Mama, despite claiming to be invisible and powerful, couldn't withstand the wrath of Bakasi boys. Immediately, he finished his confession. He was beheaded and his lifeless body was chopped into pieces. He was set ablaze like a burnt offering to the gods. Now, the lesson is, no matter the situation you find yourself in, don't indulge in criminal activities. Always remember that Recession may affect the economy, situation, worker salary, but it can't affect the wages of sin. The wages of sin are still dead, and that and that will not change. Let's try our best to stay away from evil, evil because whatsoever a man sows, he shall reap. So thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, when we we'll bring you another delightful and much interesting video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification, like, share, and drop your comments right in the comment section. Because your thoughts and views on our videos, and particularly on this video, are always welcome.